Hey guys, back for another video. This time we're going to be doing another one of these time lapses. We're going to be building a pyramid today, and I'm with uh, Naman, as Hello. you know him. Yeah, yep. he's going to be helping me, and... This from the pyramid's going to be built top to bottom. Yeah, so anyways, let's get started. This is my section. Yeah, this is the section so far. So, section. We're going to take turns building each section, so it's... No, nope. no. Nope. I find the bricks, sometimes he finds the bricks. He finds the bricks and I build. This okay. one's going to be different. Whatever, just continue, bro. Okay, no one is being very lazy, so he doesn't want to build this whole section. So this is one section. This is not a section. You said build the rest of the pyramid. All the colors are gonna make this massive. So this, if we make this any bigger, we're not gonna have time. Oh. And okay, yeah, there's not, we don't really have that much yellow pieces that could be of use since this is a very wide layer here. So I could only build three layers. Wow, that was pathetic. Yeah, but anyways, now me and Naman are gonna build the third layer, which is gonna be green. Orange? Okay, so I've kind of run into a problem. We haven't really got any more green bricks to finish off because the problem with this pyramid is each time you do another color, it just gets wider and wider, which needs more and more bricks of that new color. So basically, it just burns through all our bricks. So red was the easiest one to start off with. Yeah, so basically, I'm just gonna. Um, plate off the edges then I'll put on the base plate. One thing I have to also mention, um you remember Naman? Yeah. He completely stopped helping me in the middle of the process. So basically I'm just doing it all by myself. <sighs> yep. These these plating at the edges is very thin so it'll actually might not hold it up together very well. But it's the best piece of structure that that can help it stand on the base plate because the base plate's um, a tad bit bigger than this pyramid, so it'll easily be connected on, so, and there'll be no problem at all. Yeah, this plate is gonna take a long time, so I'm just gonna uh, transition. Okay, now that's done. It took like maybe five minutes. Hmm. The bottom looks kind of ugly, so I'm gonna flip it over carefully because every single time I do this, every model just breaks, just shatters. So this time I actually did not because the pyramid has a stru structure here which keeps it up because all the layers are interconnected in the brick pattern, so it won't fall down that easily. And now I'm gonna put the base plate on. All right, and uh, one more thing to mention: somehow we build up pyramid in a perfect size that it's exactly aligned in the middle just look at this Bruh. this could be an amazing wall map like the huggy wuggy one i done very long ago yeah somehow still remember that basically it was hard to get it on because if i squish it too hard the top might explode like it did last time i built this off camera yeah like very long back ago and basically i had to massage it on but if you get what I mean, I had to just do this. It might sound sus, but yeah. <laughs> so only one green layer and three yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, and seven red. So that totals up to eleven layers. Eh, not bad. Well, I could do better. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you. Uh...